Hey guys, so I am going to show you a really quick tutorial on how to make these, I call them like tea bags. Do you know how you have Happy Mail or you send Happy Mail? Um, I usually send tea bags and little goodies um, and I'm going to show you how to make these with one sheet of paper. Um, this is just some examples, different size. All these is scraps. Everybody has scraps. Um, I have a box full of scraps, so I figured let's use them up and make cute little um, little pockets to send to your pen pals. Um, they're really cute. I really love them. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to put these here really quick. Um, so I started by cutting the paper. What a, did I do with my paper? I prepared it in my home. Um, oh, it's right in front of me. So, um, these are the scraps that I had. Um, preferably use to, uh, double-sided paper. This one, just so you can see, you don't have to decorate the inside as much. This is a reg uh, just a regular one. And I embellished it with stickers. But it's easier if you have 12 by, I mean 12 by 12. If you have double-sided paper. Um, and cut it in. Um, for this bigger one is six by six. Um, so just as, as long as it's an even square, you know, it doesn't matter what size you can go bigger on this. You can go smaller. I just went ahead and cut a couple, uh, pieces of paper that I had here and I'm going to go ahead and do a couple here so you can see and embellish. So they're all different sizes. Um, there is one that I did have this one. Um, this is one side, but I figured that if you do it and you fold it over, you can use it both sides. I really love this. It's a specialty paper that I got at Paper Source, and I really want to use it. So we're going to try and do that one, and then we'll do this bigger one. And can you tell I love cats? This cat one, and then we'll go with the dark color, this one. Okay, so let's get started. Let's do this one. So what you're going to do is just fold it in half so you pick whatever one you want showing uh, front. So I want this one to show, um, so I'm going to fold it this way. You just fold it in half. I don't know if you can see this. And here's my bone folder. You don't need any tools for this, but I find it easy to use a bone folder. And then you fold it again, this point towards the middle. And there you go and then you open it and you grab this point and then you get it as close as you can without um, interfering the folds you fold it and then you do the same thing over here get it as close as you can without interrupting this fold right here and then you go ahead and it's kind of hard to see a little more so you go this way, and there you go, and then you just fold one in, and you got yourself a little pocket. Now you can leave it like this, it'll stay, um, or you can put tape on the bottom, and now we can start embellishing. I'm actually going to put some tape on the bottom so it could stay. Um, We'll use some of this permanent. Oh, I don't have any more of this. Or we can use this one. Do this. And then like that. Hold it in place. And then you just start embellishing. Now I'm going to use. Make sure I'm still recording. Yeah. This is my my embellishment box this is pretty much all my scraps and stickers that you know i haven't used up um and we're gonna pick some stuff out to embellish i'm actually gonna i wish i had a bigger space but i don't so this is gonna have to work i think i kind of like this with this the dream I like the dream. Let me put this aside. 
And I like how this one looks. Actually, it looks like it would look cute with that. How cute. And then maybe this flower for some dimension. Yeah, that's actually perfect. Don't think about it, just, just layer because the more you think about it, it's going to get complicated and you don't want it to get complicated. You want this to be quick, fun, and easy. So, back, see? So there you got one. How quick was that? Let's do one more. Let's do this kitty cat one. And then I'll stuff it in right now. Um, because this one isn't, um, what do we call it? It's not double-sided. We're just going to close it up. Close these ends. And then now we can get a fold in. So we're going to go ahead and fold it in half. Like I said, you could use any paper you want, as long as it's a square. Oh, let's do this right, and then we're going to fold it up. Oh, this one's going to be tiny. It's okay. And then we're going to fold this here. This paper's thinner, so I don't really need... And then fold it over this way. And then put this one down. And there you go. See? Kitty cats. Kitty cats, actually. Let's see. Let me do it this way. Just to see how the pattern looks. And this way. I think the pattern might look better this way. Yeah. Yeah. I like it this way better. And it's a little, there's imperfections, but that's okay. Now let's tip the end. You don't need a lot. Just a little. And then let's, got to make this quick. And I know I have some kitty cat embellishments in here, kitty cat stuff. So we're going to start by see we could add this oh this might be too big it's too big there you go there you go I know I had kitty cat stuff so we're gonna go ahead and put a little tag. We'll put a little kitty cat face. Oh, there's two in here. We'll put this one and this one. And actually, this is kind of plain. I kind of want to put something on there. Actually, we'll include one kitty cat. We'll do this gray one because and then we'll put some stickers. We'll do two. Make sure it's two. Yeah. We'll do two. These are some stickers that I had. This is going to be like a straight up cat. <laughs> Happy mail. And then that's a cat. Actually, this kind of would be cool. No. We can just stuff this in there by itself. Let's see what else can we curse. Let's embellish that. Let's see what we have. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, too big. Cheers. Love this. Could have this, some little ephemera pieces. Ah. Oh, 
this is stuck in there. Let's see what else. What could I embellish that with? Oh, I like this blue. Look at that. That's pretty. Got that blue. Let me just dump a couple things here. See what catches my eye. What is that? Oh, that's a doggy. Cats and dogs? Cats and dogs. It is. Okay, we have to decorate the front of that. Here. Let's do this with this. Because everybody likes a little bit of gold, right? So that and that, and I feel like I need some dimension. I really don't have anything that sticks out. Oh, here. That's too big. Um, this what else? Oh, these are kind of funky. Maybe we can use some of these? Nope. I might don't overthink it, but I'm trying to use up my stash. So, there you go. Some dimension. Life is good. We're going to put this baby right here. And then we're just going to layer these. We're going to do this one here underneath it. Sticking out with the cheers. Cheers. And we're done with that one. See? Super cute, super simple. Um, we can even add these two in there. There, now she has some embellishments. I kind of want the purple. To stick up there see that's cute let's put this aside let's grab another piece of paper what do we what are we gonna go with guys let's do maybe this dark one so we can use this big embellishment or was it a small one already unicorn 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 these unicorns or these unicorns I feel like we can embellish more on this side. So let's use that side. The side that we're using. Get it together. Can I fold it? Okay. Half. And then bring it to the top. Open it up. Bring this one to the middle. Open it up. Bring this one towards the middle. Okay. There you go. Cute. Very cute. Let's close it up. This is kind of perfect. Look at that. That is perfect. We're going to do that. Oh, something shot out. And I think somebody gave me that. We're going to do that. Let's take some. What else? Everything is beautiful. X's and O's. This might be too much. I'm going to grab a dimensional, what are the dimensionals? I'm going to include a little paper clip right there, because why not? And this, I need, what did I do with my, here, okay. let's grab, actually I need a bigger foam bat. Oh. Right here. So we're going to put this right there. And then there you go. 
go on the side I always like doing it on the side on the side oh my god look at how cute this is already I don't need to do anything what do I have in here we can include some gems Jimmy's perfect. What else? Oh, I kind of like this ice cream cone. It might be a bit much because we already have the big embellishments. We can include that. Let's see what else I have in my box here. We'll do this couple die cuts. too big <laughs> so guys that's pretty much it you guys get the idea right just go in and add Where is... use what you got and give her one of these this one's cute Ooh, this one's a little bit more packed to the back oh you hear me tell me do I have any bigger die cut pieces? Here's a bigger tag that fits in there. What else? This and sign. So that's pretty much it, guys. You guys get the idea, right? I would do a couple more, but this flower. Stuff it in there. I don't like this one here. I think maybe. No. There. Cute. Does it? Actually, like this way. And the big paper clip. And there you go. All right, guys. I hope you like this quick video share. I'm going to go ahead and do the other ones. Um, and then just have them ready. This is going to stick right. Just have them ready for, um, you know, for your pen pals. I think it's a really cute idea. You saw it was quick and easy. Um, and it's fun. This one looks probably goes better with this one so i hoped you liked it and you got some inspiration um if you did just hit that thumbs up subscribe for more in the meantime i'm just gonna finish adding stuff in these and that's pretty much it all right guys bye happy crafting